warm greeting to all this session we are going to discuss problem on uh, carter joint so these are the formulas uh, used for uh, carter joint failure equations so what are the failures occur in a carter joint so that we discuss in the previous session so so the failures are mentioned here and the force equations are mentioned here so using these equations we are going to find out the dimensions of the carter joint so the problem design and draw a carter joint to support a load varying from 30 kN in compression to 30 kN in tension the material used in carbon steel for which is which the following allowable stresses may be assumed the load is applied statically tensile stress which is equal to compressive stress which is equal to 50 MPa shear stress 35 MPa and crushing stress 90 MPa so these are the problem given so what are the given data p is given that is applied load is given that is 30 kN and uh, tensile stress is given that is 50 mega pascal 50 newton per mm square and shear stress tau equal to 35 mega pascal 35 newton per mm square and sigma c crushing stress 90 mega pascal which is equal to 90 newton per mm square so step 1 uh, that is uh, diameter of the rod so considering the failure of rod in tension so we know the formula that is uh, p equal to pi by 4 d square into sigma t so we know the value of sigma t that is given in the question and we know the value of p uh, substitute the values and find out what is the diameter of the rod so diameter d which is equal to 27.6 say 28 is a standard diameter of the rod then step 2 we have to find out the diameter of spike cord and the thickness of cotter so that is d2 and t we have to find out then uh, so the force equation p equal to pi by 4 d2 square minus d2 into t into sigma t so sigma t and uh, p values are known so substitute and find out the value of d2 so the d2 which is equal to 33.4 say 34 mm and the thickness of the cotter that is the relation between d2 and t so t which is equal to d2 by 4 so d2 already we found that is 34 so divided by 4 will get 8.5 mm so let us now check the induced crushing stress uh, we know that load p which is equal to d2 into t into sigma c which is equal to uh, d2 value we found that is 34 and t value we know that is 8.5 and the load we know so 30 into 10 power 3 find out the value of sigma c the sigma c will get uh, 103.8 newton per mm square since the value of sigma c is more than the given value of sigma c that is 90 newton per mm square so in a question they given a crushing stress sigma c which is equal to 90 newton per mm square but here we get uh, 103.8 so the design is not safe uh, design is not safe therefore the dimension d2 34 and t is 8.5 mm are not safe so now let us find the value of d2 and t by substituting the value of sigma c 90 newton per mm square so after substituting the uh, sigma c is 90 90 newton per mm square in this equation so we will get uh, uh, d2 which is equal to 36.5 say 40 mm and t equal to 10 mm so next step outside diameter of socket considering the failure of socket in tension across the slot p equal to 
फै बै फोर डी वन स्क्वयर मैनस् डी टू स्क्वयर मैनस् डी वन मैनस् डी टू इंटू टी इंटू सिग्मा टी सो सब्स्यूट द वैल्यू आफ डी टू वाट वि फौंड इन दि प्रीविय स्टेप सब्स्यूट द वैल्यू आफ डी टू अंड फैंड अवट दि वैल्यू आफ डी वन दट इस अवट सैड डयामीटर आफ दि साकेट सो डी वन विच इस ईक्वल टू फार्टी नईन पॉइंट नईन से फिफ्टी एम एम दे स्टेप फोर वित् आफ काटर सो बी वी हव टू क्यालुलेट सो दि फार्मुला इज कंसिडरी दि फेलियर आफ काटर इन शेर दट इस पी ईक्वल टू टू बी इंटू टी इंटू टव दट इस शेस्टस् सब्स्यूट दि शेस्टस् वैल्यू एंड टी वैल्यू एंड पी वैल्यू विल गेट दि वैल्यू आफ बी दट इस वित् आफ दि काटर Then step five, diameter of socket collar. That is D four. We have to calculate considering the failure of socket collar and cotter in crushing. That is P equal to D four minus D two into T into sigma c. So substitute the value of D two T sigma c P value and we'll get uh, D four. That is D four is seventy three point three say seventy five mm. Then step six, thickness of socket collar. That is C, the thickness of the socket collar. That is uh, considering the failure of socket end in shearing. So P equal to two into D four minus D two into C into tau. So substitute the values of uh, D four, D two, and the P value. Find out the value of C that which is equal to twelve mm. Then step seven. Distance from the end of the slot to the end of the rod. A we have to calculate, considering the failure of rod end in shear. That is P equal to two A D two into tau. Substitute all the values. That is D two tau and P. Find out the value of A. Then next step eight. Step eight diameter of the Spike cut collar. That is D three. So D three, considering the failure of spike cut collar in crushing, P equal to pi by four D three square minus D two square into sigma c. So substitute all the values and find out the value of D three. So D two value already we found. That is we know P value and we know sigma c. Substitute and find out D three which is equal to forty five mm. Then uh, step nine, thickness of spike cut collar. So T one we have to calculate. So considering the failure of spike cut collar in shearing, that is P equal to pi D two into T one into tau. Substitute the values of uh, D two tau and P value. We can get the value of T one, which is equal to eight mm. Then step ten, the length of the cutter L is Taken as 4D, that is relationship empirical relationship L, which is equal to 4D, then L equal to 112 mm. 11 step 11, the dimension E is taken as 1.2D, so the value of E is 34 mm. So after finding the values of uh, all the dimensions of uh, quarter joint. Then we have to draw a diagram of quarter joint with the dimensions. So we have to draw the diagram and mention all the dimensions, whatever we found in the previous steps. So that you have to mention that is D value, D one, D two, B, C, and D four, D three, A, E, T one. So all the values you have to mention in a diagram, and uh, this is the. Uh, procedure to solve the problem of uh, quarter joint the remaining things we'll discuss in the next class thank you